Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the topic which is thermal stresses. But before going to this lecture, I would like to request you guys that please subscribe to my new channel. I have given the link in the description. So, what is thermal stresses and how we can define thermal stresses in an object or in any body? So, thermal stresses can be defined as these are type of stresses that are produced in a body due to the temperature changes. Stresses produced due to temperature change. So they are related to the temperature. We have different type of stresses. For example, normal stresses, shear stresses, bearing stresses, torsional stresses. It all depends upon the kind of load, the type of area and so on. But this is a special type of stress which mainly depends on the change in temperature. If we change the temperature of the body, then there are some stresses created inside the body. These stresses are known as the thermal stresses. For example, if I consider, let's, let's suppose this is in a rod and before temperature it is like normal 25 centigrade and we increase the temperature of this rod to 85 centigrade what happens there will be expansion of the body the body will expand due to the heat so there will be some stresses created inside this body which will be known as the thermal stresses or similarly we have this another body here and before temperature it is 25 centigrade but after we decrease the temperature to minus 15 centigrade so what happens with this body it contracts and the length of the size decreases so we can say that there are some stresses created inside this body due to the temperature change which is known as the thermal stresses so it can lead to expansion of the body or it can lead to the decrease in the body size now if i look to these two examples here we have cantilever rod or beam the first one and the second one there is a main difference between these two by defining by defining the thermal stresses for these two bodies for example the first one the one in is free the one in is fixed and the other in is free here while in the case of the second body the one in is fixed here while the other end is being supported with a hinge support. So what makes the difference? What makes the thermal stresses difference in these two types of the body? In the case of the first body, there is no restriction provided at the free end. So that's why the thermal stresses will be zero in this object. Because for the thermal stresses, it is important to have some restriction. So when there is a restriction for the body, then there we will have thermal stresses. When there is no restriction for the body, then there will be no thermal stresses in the body. So while here in the case of the second, we can see here there is a support provided the other end. So there is a restriction due to which there will be some stresses created inside this body, which will be known as the thermal stresses. So here in this rod, the thermal sigma thermal cannot be equal to zero because there is a restriction so let's suppose I increase the temperature for this body but there will be no thermal stresses it will be always zero or we decrease the temperature for this body then again there will be no thermal stresses in the first object because there is no restriction now if we look to the second object there is restriction provided so due to which if I increase the temperature the body will tend to increase in length it will show some extension in the length so if I represent this is delta L if this is the original length of the body L and this is the delta L which is the deformation in the length of this object due to the increase in the temperature this is the delta T which we provide to this object to increase its temperature so the thermal the, this deformation delta L we can define as delta L will be equal to the alpha delta T into L it depends this deformation depends on three things one is the alpha alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion and it is different for different object 
for steel we have different coefficient of thermal expansion as compared to the concrete similarly for aluminium we have different coefficient of thermal expansion to it totally depends on the type of the material the second one is delta d which is the change in temperature the difference between the original temperature and the temperature that we provided to the object and the third one is the length which is the original length of the object so this delta L is equal to alpha delta T into L if we know these three values we can define we can find out our change in length or the deformation due to the thermal stresses now we know that the strain is equal to the change in length divided by the original length this is the definition of the strain so here change in length is this one so alpha delta T into L divided by original length so LL will be cancelled so this is our definition of the strain which we call as the, the thermal strain so similarly the thermal stress will be equal to the sigma thermal equal to the E into strain we know that the elasticity is equal to the stress over strain so we can find the stress from this stress is equal to the elasticity into strain so I use this equation the simple equation of the elasticity so here thermal stress will be equal to the E into elasticity into strain E is E where a strain is here thermal strain which is alpha into delta T so this is the equation for the thermal stresses E which is dependent on the elasticity of the material the coefficient of thermal expansion of the material and the change in the temperature for an object or in a body. So hope you guys understand how to find out the thermal stresses and what are the criteria for the thermal stresses which is the restriction. It is very really important to have a restriction in your body in order to have thermal stresses. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.